<clears throat> hey guys, it's your boy Curb Harris, and welcome to my sporting career mode. Hold, hold. Yes, it is. Well, it is actually my last. Will be my last official. Oh, 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 um, secondary career mode from the teams that I chose. Now, once I'm done with sporting, if you guys want to see a career mode where a team you guys choose, who's, who's, I can do that. But it would have to be a team in a league I already haven't already done. So that rules out pretty much. That rules out. The Bundesliga, that rules out La Liga, that rules out Serie A, rules out the Portuguese League, Eek. Eek. and it rules out the BPL. Um, cause uh, I remember what you guys me put, who you guys put me as last time, and I'm still unhappy with you. Freaking hell, you think you're so freaking funny, as you. See, I used financial takeover to give myself a bit more funds with sporting because I saw them lacking a central attack in mid. They didn't really have what I was looking for in a central in the central midfield area. So I got this bad boy. Yes, Wesley Schneider is here. Uh, he can play on the left, so I'm not sure how good his pace is. Yeah, I probably won't be playing him on the left. <laughs> I've got decent enough players as it is, and these guys are on the wrong side. He compels on the. Right there, and Carly was on the left. Dude, dude, get where you're supposed to be. Um, I also signed two young center back next to uh, have what? Actually, well, three, as you can see there. Also signed Hoffman. But I signed one of them for two reasons. I think it is it this guy. No, he's he's got ninety two jumping, so he's he'd be he's going to be an amazing centre back. Is it Rudder? Is it Rudder? Yeah, it's him. I also I got him for two reasons because as you can see, he can play right back in this young German player and and. He is quite fast, so if I ever need to uh, switch him around with a uh, with old with a uh, Mister Um with uh, with Cedric here, or if Cedric is ever tired or needs a rest, I can just put Radiger to right back and put Hoffman in. Loads of options. Uh, I think I did the best I could. You know, I didn't want to make a big sign, and I thought I need a high-rated player so I can n n match the the high-rated players that Benfica and Porto have. Because I know Benfica have a few A plus rated players, and Porto have. A few A Ray plus Ray players, and before I signed Schneier, Patri Patricio, or the goalkeeper Roy Patricio, was the only A he you are above player that sport they had. So, uh, yeah, desperate times call for desperate measures, and since it was the last, since this is the last uh, official. Oh, oh, career mode oh, that I planned t to do from the teams that I picked. It, I wanted to make it a bit 
more interesting. Because Sporting don't have the most money, you know. Well, compared to Benfica and Porto, they're severely a liar in terms of funds. I still have like, yeah, just over 7 million if I was to make any more additions, but I think my squad is full. Which is interesting. I think it's full. Let me just check. Oh no, it's not. You can see how much I paid for him. I got him for a pretty decent price for Gar from Garatasaray. They were looking for 35 million, so pretty good uh, negotiating skills. You got Rugger for, I think it was, yeah, 8.3 million for Stuttgart. Hoffman was 7 million from Hanover. And Konguli. Was a uh, seven million from Farnyard, so uh, some very good options there. If you know, I probably could have gotten them those players from for less if I was like a bigger named team. Now I'm not trying to say anything bad about Sporting, but you know, you know, Sporting are probably the third best team in Portugal behind Port. The one Benfica and also a Saint Dive. I noticed just before I started recording, Porto lost their first match. What a bunch of scrubs. <laughs> so uh, I'm already ahead of them and I haven't done anything yet. Interesting. I have no idea who this team is, unfortunately. I really only know Porto, Benfica, uh, Braga, and and sporting. And those are the only four teams I would know straight away from Portugal. If you, you'd you'd have to specify if the team was from Portugal. If you were telling me anything about any other teams from Portugal, but those four. Anyway, let's get into the at the first game. I think I've rambled on long enough. Seven and a half minutes to be precise, if my uh, Elgato is to be correct, and it is. So let's do this. Or Carlua Stadium. I don't think I am. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty confident I didn't say that right. <laughs> well, there's Schneider from a Real Madrid man. Obviously, the referee is going to be Portuguese because these two teams are Portuguese. I was expecting you to get a few uh, bids from teams during the transfer window for uh, William Carvalho, but I didn't actually get that many. You know, I got a few. I think I got, I actually got one from, I think it was Porto. I got one from Porto for one of my players. I was like, seriously? Are you smoking some of the good stuff? What the hell? Why would I sell to a rival? That is like the key if you're a manager. You cannot sell a player to a rival. Especially if it's a d good player. Here is Capel who puts it home with his head. That's using your head, friend. <laughs> See? You wouldn't have scored that if you were on the wrong side. Like, the, like, for, like for some reason I had you there. Yeah, That would have been... Capillo's goal. Oh, although it doesn't really matter who scores it as long as we score it. Anyway, but anyway, back to what I was talking about 
There we go. How Porto may have bid for my players. I think I think it was. Yeah, it was. It was no. It was Patricio. They uh, they may have bid for Patricio. I was like, really? I mean, I know he's he's a decent goalkeeper and all, but why would I sell him to a rival? Why would I sell him? Period. I mean, unless I'm confident of getting in a, an amazing replacement. I'm not going to sell any of my players, especially not to a rival, and I would never do that. Especially if they're going to be teams I'm going to be competing with for the title, and that's, despite they them losing their first match, that's what Porto are going to be. They're going to be one of my main rivals, along with Benfica, and probably Braga as well, for the title. Oh, oh. To Portuguese Liga and the cup, whatever the cup's name is, I'm not sure. I'm oh, damn, son, what a, a freaking shot! Ramiro on. Ramiro. He on. I don't, I don't think I'm saying his name right either. Look. I apologise if I do get any names wrong. But. What can I say? I'm just not good at pronouncing foreign words. There's no foreign names. Unless I've heard them already, like go on, Capel, go on, Capel. What he didn't pass it the way I wanted to, I was holding like the directional button so he'd pass it. Back, but he passed it straight forward. It, it freaking idiot. Go on, Cedric. Dance on them. Dance on them. I'm not much of a skiller, but there you go. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it. Lost the ball. Oh, go back. Lost it again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Come on, get me. No. Give me the ball. Give me. Oh, I have that. That's mine. That's mine. Boom. I missed, uh, I missed that score in the top right-hand corner. Was that Benfica? I thought I saw a B, so it was like Benfica or Braga. Like I said, I don't know if there's another B team, B team with a B in their name. Well, I'm sure there's teams with Bs in their name, but you know, Benfica and Braga start with a B. You know, I'm sure I saw that's what I, th I thought I saw a B. I don't know if it was for sure. I guess I'll we'll see at half time. Ooh, keep a stop to that one. He's a very tall goalkeeper. Huh? He's like a foot over his centre back. Yeah, look at that. He he looks kind of like he's the tallest player in the box as the goalkeeper of their team. Half time. I'm already, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's Boy Vista. It was Boy Vista. I think I said that. Kind of right? 
but Vega aren't even playing yet. Oh, there they are again. Now that 2 1 up on the other team. <laughs> Did I just. I flattened my own freaking player. Fantastic. Ah, uh, you're a winner today, Corey. You are a winner. Winner, winner. A chicken dinner. Uh, it's my professional take on it. Go on, go on, go on. Yes. Oh, well, a good save there. Another one. Spike can see those two goals. The keeper or of my opposition are. Is playing so, and well. Oh. oh no, do not let them get on the counter attack. Yes, good tackle. Shit. <clears throat> yes, good man, Rudder. Her. Rudder. However, you say your name. Kavayu. Oh, that was a. Terrible pass. Antonio Rodiger. That's 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 uh um, that's as close as I'm probably gonna get. If that's not right, I don't care. Sorry, but uh. I don't think I'll ever be able to pronounce the names correctly. He, he, like I said, unless I already happen to know how to say their name because I've heard it. Oh, I, I do try my best, still, but you can't always get uh, get things right, unfortunately. Go on, Wesley. Go on, Wesley. I'll take that corner. Thank you very much. See how my uh, new centre backs doing the year. Um, I'll be looking for uh, like Kongugu. It was actually coming to him, I know. <laughs> but uh, it was cleared. Jefferson. Foul. Ref. Silva didn't give a shit. He wanted to have a shot. Huh? Cheeky. It's Adrian Silva. So people don't get confused thinking I signed David Silva. There's about 5 billion Silvers in this game. Yeah, I'm going to take a free kick. I was like... Surrounded there for a second. Go on. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's uh, it's my new son back, Colonel Lugu. Next gen goalkeepers, ladies and gentlemen. Next gen goalkeepers.
Come here. Foul. Yeah. That's what I thought. I, I thought I... I thought that looked like a foul, to be honest. Just, you know, I, I, I can be unbiased, even if I'm actually playing as one of the teams. That was a foul all day long. Even if it wasn't, I'm pretty sure it would have been their throw. Oof! For Schneider on his debut. Oh, I gave Wesley the chance. I could have gone with, um, I think it was. It didn't even show the pass beforehand, but. Oh, I could go and take a shot with the player who passed it to Schneider. But I wanted to see if I could get him a goal on his official debut. And it just didn't work. He did score in uh, preseason, though. He scored in two of the three matches, so. I think he actually scored three goals, two in the first game and one in the uh, in the third game. He didn't score in the second one. It was a uh, Capel. Well, it's a winning start, even though Schneider didn't get a goal. I mean, you know, he's not exactly a goal scorer. Although he scores. He, um, I'm sure if I looked at the stats of Gatasara, yeah, I'm sure I would see he score, him score. I've been the scorer of a few goals in the uh, Turkish league, but in saying that, I have no interest in looking for such stats. Sorry. And uh, and Benfica must have won by like four goals or something because they've. They did win by four goals. Jesus Christ. Dual violence. It's a good thing uh, there's no relegation, or I'd say they would be pretty fucked. If they're losing 4 0. Saying that, did they lose 4 0 to Benfica? Uh. Porto's loss wasn't as bad as it looks. It was only 1 0. So, uh. Bad stuff for Porto, good stuff for me and Benfica. <laughs> not, not what you want to see if you're, uh, if you're, if you're a Porto fan. Oh wow! <laughs> My second game, Benfica. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? And it, although it is home, so this should be interesting. Oof. No, it's first versus the second in the second freaking game. <laughs> Intense. Between the two of us, we scored seven goals in the first in our first matches. What's this be like? A oh, one goal who decide it like thing. Although I'm not big on scoring one goal, I, I like to get a comfortable lead of like two or three nil before. I feel like I've secured the points. And this is a this is a derby as well because uh I think it is. Hmm. I'm not sure. AA9 would know a lot more about this than I would. This is in my territory to be talking about who has a rivalry with who. Ooh, or stuff like that. And when it comes to the Portuguese, like, I'm just a, a win 
the league in the tie when am I? Hmm. No, I don't think I'm no, I am, I am in I think I'm in the Europa League, aren't I? Not sure. Or well, now? Hmm. We'll have to look into that. Lima? I thought Lima left Benfica in the summer. Huh. Must have just been a rumor. Because I could have sworn I saw him that he did a transfer. Or maybe I'm thinking that he got transferred in a career mode. What did I get? Oh, that's probably it. Yes. Yes. Now go for Romario. This feels so weird because I was Benfica in FIFA 14. <laughs> so, and. and I think I actually won the league in real life as well, so congrats to them, but as far as FIFA is concerned, I am going to win the league. You got to try to win the league with sporting, although I haven't been stopped yet. Oh, Oh, I'll take that free kick. Thank you very much. I think he's giving her a card. This is no handy thing again. He was he's now at eighty nine free kicks. Oof. That's pretty good. Close, considering it was me. I don't normally score free kicks. Come on. Oh. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop him. Get the ball off him. Oh, God. Oh, this is good. Yes, good defending by Rudiger. Oh, I feared that would have been a goal. I felt in my bones that Benfica were I think it's only a matter of time. Yo. Yes, good challenge. Good challenge by Cedric. 
the get the ball out of there. Oh my god, this legendary computer. It seems to be much better with the bigger her teams. I mean, the first game was practically a pushover. Benfica are playing way better than I've ever seen the legendary computer play. I've been playing against the legendary computer since the game came out. Osario got booked for that late challenge there at the end of the first half. So if I could focus it on the side, maybe he can get, maybe if, maybe I'll be able to get him and sent off. They'll be much easier to be if they have ten men. Uh oh. Oh boy. Yes, good defending again. I think it was Rodriguez again. Oh, that was a terrible pass. Come on. No. Ooh. Good challenge. Good challenge. Go. Go, 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 go. Yes. No. Son of a bitch. Come on. No, keep it in. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I just feel like they're going to equalize. No, you can't. We can't let that happen. Oh, crap. What are they doing? Um, what is it taking? Uh, huh. Right. Oh, Jesus. Freaking out. What the hell? How did they do that? Oh, it was offside. I thought he gave a fucking penalty. He wouldn't play stopped. I was like, what happened? Oh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Yo, here they come again? No! Let's get it out with her. Penalty! Yes! Maxi Pereira. Surely he got booked for that. That was a pretty bad challenge. Let me see, is Romero my best bet? 74? A. No, it looks like Silva's my best penalty taker. 84. Penalties. So it's going to be Adrian Silva versus Julio Cesar. Oh, shit.
pray I didn't get booked for that foul on Capel earlier. The hell? Snyder! Kaleo! Oh, what? How did Cesar save that? How did he save that? Oh no! No wonder he's regarded as well. Still regarded as one of the best keepers around. Freaking hell. Damn, that should have been 2 0 and probably game over, considering the time. Pass. Schneider! Yes! Oh, <laughs> I think that's uh, that's that young striker uh, they're bringing him on. Yeah, I've heard a lot about this guy and seeing him. Don't lie, don't lie. I've heard a lot about him. He's meant to be a really good young talent. And I'm pretty sure he scored a few goals for the real life Benfica. Yeah. So yeah, let's let's not let him have the chance to be a super sub. Go on, go on, Wesley. No, what the hell was that? They're throwing all the dice into the the bin. At now, I don't know what that, and no idea where I came up with that, but fuck it, let's throw it. Come on, Schneider, foul, keep the ball, Capilio, Silva, Cedric. Full time whistle, ref. Yes. Would you believe it? It actually was a one goal game. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe it was a one goal game. Nah. Nah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is what you can expect when I come up against the likes of Benfica. And it'll probably be a tough game against Porto as well, and I'm not going to underestimate a team like Braga either. Look at this! Freaking speaker Porto, there they are, freaking 50 million for Capel. Well, that's tempting. I can't accept that. I'd probably accept 15 million if it came from a foreign club or something like that, but no way I can accept one from Porto. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. That is it's the start of sport in career mode. In the next episode, I'll be playing the next. Who, who games and, and but until well then and I've been Corey Pierce as as you been fantastic and I'll see you all next time.